So it's my great pleasure now to introduce the President of the Student Union, Ben Newsham. Good morning. Uh, I do have to start with two apologies, I'm afraid. First, I need my notes, so I won't be wandering around. And second, my voice, if it goes, those of you who met me on the welcome stand yesterday will know why. I'm sorry I shouted. Good morning. I'm Ben Newsham, the president of the Students' Union this year. And first of all, congratulations to all of you on being here today. The very fact you're here means you've achieved something to be truly proud of. And I don't just mean that for those of you who were at the welcome party last night. Warwick is a world-leading university, and every single one of you truly deserves to be here. However long you're here, the university, before you cross the stage to graduate, Warwick will change your life, and in turn, you will change the university. The years ahead of you will be some of the most memorable of your life. You will study a subject you are interested in, surrounded by some of the most inspiring people you will ever meet. You will have access to opportunities that others can only dream of, and I don't just mean the Cheese and Chocolate Society, the people around you will shape your university experience, flatmates, course mates, the academics who teach you, and the staff who make the university function every day. They each have their own story to tell, including you. No two people made it to Warwick in the same way. Many of you have come here from other countries. Many others, like myself, will be the first generation of your family to attend a university. Value that. Learn from those around you and allow them to learn from you. Many of the most useful things you will learn here will have nothing to do with your degree. Right now, that might seem miles away. But don't worry, you'll get there. Even the challenges that seem daunting now, you will overcome. You will figure out how the washing machine works. You will learn how to cook something more adventurous than pasta. And if you do catch freshers' flu, you will recover. Once you have those essentials out of the way, your university experience is what you make of it. So much of what you experience here is about the things you choose to do rather than that which you have to do. My friends from my time at Warwick, the people who I graduated with two years ago now, have ended up all over the world in all sorts of careers. However, when they look back at their time here, and I include myself in this, they have two things in common. First, the things they value the most from their time here are the things they did outside of their degrees. And second, they all wish they had done more. So this week, take time to visit the societies and sports fairs. Try hobbies you wouldn't normally dream of trying, do a sport you've never even heard of, and make friends with as many people as you can. Take that spirit forward with you too. Read that book on your reading list that isn't necessarily the most useful to your course, but the one that interests you the most. Get involved in campaigning for something you care about. The Students' Union exists to give you the power to make the change you want to see. You will never get a better chance than the next few years, and particularly the next few weeks to try out as many new things as you can. Here now, we have a short video giving you a taste of the sorts of societies the SU has to offer. If I can work the technology. At Warwick, there are so many different societies that are so inclusive and all join together. Everything from dance through to academics, So the Salsa Society you can join at any time all year round. Every class that we do we have levels all the way from beginners through to people that have danced for absolutely years. See what you can do and have some fun. I'm in my fourth year and I've been part of many different societies during my time at university and it just gives you so much more to add not only to your life at university but on your CV. On, on my course I don't get much of a chance to um, let out my creative side very much, so coming, coming and playing with Lego is just a nice chance to sort of do something a bit more creative. It's just a time to break away from your studies a bit and concentrate on something different. I think it's really important to join society so you can find people that are like-minded like you and you can expand your horizons beyond just your education. Getting involved with anything that you're passionate about is really, really fun and exciting and really rewarding.
So try as many new things as you possibly can. Some things won't be for you, but that's part of the journey. In my first year, I never did get the hang of underwater hockey. The weekly emails from the quiz society were quietly ignored, and my attempts to find a sport I was actually good at usually ended in someone getting injured. But I did find my place, just as you will. For me, that was the politics society where I made my closest friends, and by the time I had become its president in my final year, learned some of the most valuable things Warwick taught me. At the same time, I got involved in the students' union. For me, it was because I wanted to make quite a small change to campus. I thought there should be a donation point for the local food bank in Roots Grocery Store. I'm happy to say there is now one, and for me, that was the start of the journey that led me here today. Because whether it's lobbying for a small change like that one, or campaigning for causes that will change the university or even the world, the Students' Union, of which you are now automatically a member, exists to make your voice heard. The Union is an organization independent of the university, a campaigning, exciting, student-led union which has a powerful, effective, and at times, dare I say, radical effect on the university. So get involved. If you see me or the other elected officers around on campus, please do come and say hello. We can answer any questions you have about the SU or the university in general. Consider running for positions that will allow you to make a real difference here by representing your fellow students. Make Warwick the university you want it to be. The things you learn while doing so will be useful long after you leave this institution. That, then, is how you will change while at the university. But there's the other side of that relationship to consider. When you graduate, it's not only you that will have changed. The university will have changed, too. And that change will be more dramatic than you might expect. By my count, since I started in 2015, the university has opened five new buildings, completely rebranded, gone through four SU presidents, appointed a new chancellor, appointed a new vice chancellor, and adopted a campus cat. This is not the kind of place that stays the same for long. <laughs> the changes, however, have not always been so routine, and the challenges rarely easy. This university, our community, has been fundamentally challenged over the past couple of years. Questions have been raised about what this university stands for, what this community should allow, and the part we all have to play in ensuring that this is a university where everyone feels not only safe, but protected, not only welcome, but at home. From the undeniable challenges Warwick has faced in the past year, this university, as a collective of staff and students, has stopped, listened, and thought about the kind of community we want to be. The university's guiding principles are the product of this, and the Students' Union has been involved in the formation of those values from the very beginning. As students, we have a duty to uphold them. We must live and embody those values. If we don't, nobody will. I would therefore encourage you to be aware of what they say. We must call out behaviours we do not tolerate. We must be clear in saying what is right and what is unacceptable. Above all, we must respect each other. And we must recognise that we all have a part to play in that, every single one of us, ensuring not only that we behave in ways that align with those values, but that others do as well. That is the power you have here. First, to define this university by behaving in the manner you think right, and second, by using the Students' Union, your voice, to express those views to the university directly. This university is many things, but above all else, it is yours. You'll hear Warwick described in many ways, dynamic, enterprising, innovative, young, but what really matters above all else is you, the students. By the time you graduate, Warwick will be a different place to that which it is today, and you will be a different person to who you are today. Most importantly, you will decide how that transformation takes place and what you and this university will be in the future. It's a big challenge, but you've proven you're up to it just by getting here. I believe in you. Welcome to Warwick. <laughs>